All right, everybody. Um, thank you all for the opportunity to be here at DevOps Day Raleigh. Uh, this is um, AI Ops. Um, I actually am a graduate of North Carolina State University, so it's awesome to be back here. And that's me climbing out in the Piedmont uh, area of North Carolina trying to represent NC. All right, so today's agenda, we're going to talk about ops, how it can be challenging, how we're looking to modernize it. Uh, we're going to talk about Amazon DevOps Guru, as well as uh, use case and some next steps. So as we grow uh, in 2022, we see these trends in software operations. So there's more data. We're also seeing a more shift towards microservices based architectures, which further compounds everything that I'm going to be talking about. And let's say you see an issue or a DevOps person is troubleshooting an issue. You're having to correlate all these different metrics and look for the anomalous behavior to identify what is a symptom and what is actually the root cause of this issue. And it makes it even more difficult if you didn't even deploy or build this thing that you're having to troubleshoot. And then you have cloud, it's growing, you're being asked to handle bigger loads. Meanwhile, reduce latency, improve uptime. Uh, this is becoming an increasing challenge for DevOps teams. And I'm hearing this term of alarm fatigue more and more. Anyone resonate with alarm fatigue or have experienced this very well? Um, so we're, um, we're looking at the left here, you're gonna see a bunch of apps. And as I mentioned, microservices even further compounds this. Um, the, all those apps are generating uh, metrics, logs, and traces. And ultimately, you have, you're doing the right thing. You have dashboards set up, you have alarms configured, but you're having to manually configure this stuff. Uh, what if AI could help you out? So that's where AI Ops comes in. It automatically can analyze your trends and dynamically adjust alarm thresholds on your behalf. And ultimately, the, the, the key here is to be able to um, eliminate some of that noise and surface what actually matters. So today with AWS, you might have some input signals. For instance, if you're running a serverless Lambda function, you have cloud watch vended metrics out of the box. So invocations, errors, latency, you might have some custom cloud watch metrics as well. But that's just one piece of the data store. You got cloud trail, you got x-ray for trace data. If you're running a relational database with RDS, maybe you have performance insights enabled. But going back to uh, our dashboard, you have all this stuff configured. Um, but what if you could have some kind of AI that could help make this a little easier? And so I'm gonna introduce to y'all that haven't heard of it, it's called Amazon DevOps Guru. It's a fully managed uh, machine learning powered platform. Uh, inspired by years of operational excellence at Amazon.com and AWS. And it's uh, able to take a look at things like I mentioned, the latency, errors, or resource constraints, and be able to surface what really matters for you to make the decision and you're not getting lost or getting off track, wasting time. So we'll take a quick, this is a very simple architecture. You have an API that's invoked via API gateway. It's invoking a Lambda function. It's backed by a NoSQL DynamoDB table and your app is broken. Your customer is saying, hey, what's going on? So you look at your data, you look at your metrics, and you're having a problem because Lambda is throwing invocation errors. DynamoDB is throttling. And API Gateway is getting slammed with 5XX. So what, what is the symptom and what is the root cause? You are a fantastic operator, so you can figure this out, but it didn't happen instantly. It took a little bit of time. You had to go through and read and, and measure these different anomalies. So imagine you had uh, Amazon DevOps Guru in place. Uh, in this case, you have three different failing resources and Amazon DevOps Guru is cutting through that noise and able to bring about uh, prescriptive guidance and recommendations to solve the problem. And so you might consider like, how do you get started with this, uh, with this tool? So if you use AWS today, you can go to your AWS console and click enable. That, that's how easy this, this tool is to use. Um, if you choose, instead of analyzing all resources in your account, you can specify specific boundaries. For instance, CloudFormation stack boundaries or tag-based boundaries. Here's an example of what an insight might look like. So alluding to my previous architecture there, you see it's able to aggregate all those metrics in a timeline view. So you can see here the different aggregated metrics and a timeline. And as you scroll down, you also see the relevant events. So in this case, you've deployed software, it's marking that the deployment happened, and then some hours later is when this insight was generating, generated. And then you see below with recommendations, this is what you can do to, to fix it. Um, so um, 
anybody using AWS today, I'd love for you to try Amazon DevOps Guru. Um, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Hit me up on email. I'll be at the conference. I love, I'm very passionate about software development and DevOps, so I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.